a maybe a little bit larger than hand sized specimen from the scorpion mine in Namibia. Now here we have tiny crystals of uh, uh, various minerals. I think first of all, uh, let us let me show you the, the white blades. So over there you see a white blade, bigger white blades. Those would be barite crystals. So barite plates, uh, square plates almost. Uh, flattened squares of course. And then uh, in between you'd have uh, underlying would most likely be smithsonite. And then on top of that would be some hemimorphite. But once again, I need to look under magnification to give you a more accurate description. Now, the specimen is pretty perfect except for a nick on that section over there, which is really uh, one can display it in such a way that uh, maybe if you display it like that, you don't even notice that uh, section. Remember that these are byproducts of mining. So as the guys blast, the stones go flying in all directions. And it's actually uh, uh, to get large pieces which have got almost no damage is uh, not all that easy. Have a look there. There are the little barite crystals. A very aesthetically appealing specimen. A pale, there seems to be a pale tinge of color. Now the, the Smithsonites from Scorpion often had pale blues, pale greens uh, as a color base. So you'd have underneath, so on the matrix, running on the matrix, you'd have a very thin layer of Smithsonite, I suspect. I do need to look under magnification. And then of course over that the tiny, tiny little blades of hemimorphite. And in between there's another barite sitting over there, there's one over there. Uh, snow white barite crystals sitting on top of it as well. Rather rare from the Scorpion Mine, one of the world's largest zinc deposits.